Good evening. As my husband stated, we are here to find, just pleading for your help. And I hope that you find compassion and mercy for us as a family and as a community. I was born and raised here in Oakland. My family had a lot of dealings with uh, Lionel Wilson and Elihu Harris because we are servants of the community. I get a call that says that my son was shot. I, I run down um, his, I got a call from his friend. He said that he just left the police department and Alan had been shot. I said, is Alan dead? He said, yes. But when I called, I couldn't get through, first of all. So I jumped down, rent, came downtown. I encountered the desk officer who looked us in our face and we're tears, we're running. We're saying, is it true? We just want to, I, we want to know. We've gotten this call. He said, go over there and have a seat. We'll get to you later. We sat in the lobby of the Oakland Police Department for two hours with not a glass of water, not a tissue to dry our eyes, without anything. And we're not here to, you know, cause a, a demonstration tear up Oakland or anything like that, but we do need to let you know and bridge the community and the police department together where they know do not have grieving parents sit in the lobby for two hours. After I sat there for two hours, he didn't never come back. We kept constantly going to the desk asking for help. He just said, sit down, they're running their investigation, I don't have time, I, I can't talk to you. And they're busy right now. So here we are, hearts are bleeding, we're crying, we're confused, we don't know what's going on, and we have to sit there. So my husband finally got angry, and he said, let's go. Because after two hours, we haven't gotten a call from our son. We've gotten um, a call from his friend saying that he's no longer with us, and we don't know what to do. So I go over to an uh, information desk, and there was a young lady, and I said, can you just please give me anyone in homicide? I need to talk to someone. She gave me a telephone number. We leave out. I go to the car and call. They said, oh. We didn't know you were here. So can you come back? Somebody will come and talk to you. So we came back. The inspector came down, gave us his card, informed us that our son was in a, he, I'm quoting, gun battle, a gun battle with the police. We're like, not our son. This is not who, we, no way. Yes, yes, your son. I said, are you sure that it's our son? Well, we can't identify him because he had no ID. Now, mind you, he was leaving with his friends, two friends, to go and watch Floyd Mayweather versus whoever that was. He asked, uh, I, you know, he was on a curfew. I gave him some money because you never know. He could get, need a call or anything, but he left his cell phone. I saw him open up his wallet, which had his Skyline High student ID. Now, my question when he said there was no ID found was where's my son's ID that I just saw a few hours before when I gave him money he, that he put inside his wallet. Oh, well, maybe... Well, sometimes when they're running from the police, they'll take out their ID and throw it away. This boy is scared for his life without his mother, who I have raised and had next to me for his whole life. I said, he has an ID. Did you go through the wallet? I know it's there. No, we looked. It's not there. Let me check. He gets on the phone. Nope. No ID. Well, we could take a picture, and you could identify him from a picture, but it's very graphic. It might be blood and stuff. I drop to my knees. My husband picks me up and says, honey, let's go. My heart is bleeding every day. I work in the healthcare field. I work with patients every day. I would never ever 
My job is to service the patients, to take care of them to the best of my ability, to follow protocol, to go by the OSHA requirements. I can lose my license if I don't do that. The job of the police is to protect and serve. Service means to come, pull me to the side, not come. They didn't take us in the back room. They didn't pull us to come over, tell us. Listen, sorry for your loss. Try to console us. That's service. I got no service. Allen got no service. And not only that, did he tell me what is that I know now, pure lies on my dead son. I won't stand for it. I will not take it. I want justice for my son. I want the facts of what happened, how it happened, and why it happened. Because this kid was a full of life, laughing, excited, just went to his prom. Friends all over the world, and I must say, that Alan Bluford was a light in this world. He had a candlelight visual in Tracy of coaches, students, teachers, neighbors, loved ones, over 200 people. You don't know that. When we said we want answers, the community, hundreds of people gathered together and marched from the site where he took his last breath to the police department on 73rd Avenue and we get there, they lock the door, put a sign up and say, sorry, we're closed. Is that to serve and protect? Is that how you treat grieving families? We need help, Oakland City Council. A lot of you would not have this job if it weren't for people in our community, in this family. We need you to stand up and have a voice for Alan Bluford. Please. Thank you.